Hi, my name is Sleven Jochi, and I'm going to tell the story of St. John Berkmans. I personally chose the saint, as he is the patron saint of altar servers, and I'm an altar server myself. He's also the patron saint of youth. St. John Berkmans was born on the 13th of March, 1599, to John Charles and Elizabeth Berkmans in Diest, which is the Belgian province of Flemish Brabant today. John was the oldest of five children. At his baptism, he was named John in honor of John the Baptist. He was naturally kind, polite, and had a sense of humor. When John was seven, M. Emmerich, his parish priest, remarked that the Lord would work wonders in the soul of the child. What distinguished him from his companions was his piety. He was only seven years old when he got up in the morning and went to serve Mass passionately. The atmosphere that John lived in was political turmoil, which is caused by the religious war between the Catholic and Protestant parts of the Low Countries. John regularly made pilgrimages to the Marian Shrine of Sherpenhuvo, which is only a few miles from Diest. When John was age nine, John's mother, Elizabeth Bergman, was stricken with a long and serious illness. John would spend ages beside her bed. In 1615, the Jesuits opened a college at Mechelen, and Berkmans was one of the first to join. Upon entering, he enrolled in the sodality of the Blessed Virgin. When Berkmans wrote to his parents that he wished to join the Society of Jesus, his father rushed to Malines to try and change his mind and then sent him to the Franciscan convent in Malines. At the convent, a friar who was also related to Berkman also tried to change his mind. Finally, as a last resort, Berkman's father told him that if he continued with his own plan, he would end all his financial support. Yet, on 24th September 1616, Berkmans entered the Jesuit novitiate. He requested that after ordination as a priest, he could become a chaplain in the army so that he can be martyred on the battlefield. On 24 January 1618, John made his first vows and went to Antwerp to begin studying philosophy. After only a few weeks, he was sent to Rome where he was to continue the same study for two years. He entered his third year class in philosophy in the year 1621. In August 1621, the Prefect of Studies selected Berkman to participate in the discussion of philosophy at the Greek College. John opened the discussion with great clarity but after returning to his own quarters, was seized with a Roman fever. His lungs became inflamed and his strength declined rapidly. He died to dysentery and fever on 13th August 1621 at the age of 22 years. St. John Berkman took a spiritual model as St. Aloysius Gonzaga, who was also a Jesuit. He also was influenced by English Jesuit martyrs. At the time of Berkman's death, his heart was returned to Belgium. That same year, Philip Charles, Duke of Archshot, sent a petition to Pope Gregory XV to begin the process leading to the beatification of Berkman's. Berkmans was declared blessed in 1865. The miracle that led to his canonization 
Accord at the Academy of the Sacred Heart in Louisiana. In 1866, John Berkman appeared to Mary Wilson, who was poor in health. When St. John Berkman appeared to her, she was immediately healed. St. John Berkman was canonized on the 15th of January, 1888. His remains were eventually buried in San Ignacio Church. In a nutshell, St. John Berkman shows a good example on how humility and holiness goes together, also with a pinch of humor.